welcome to another lecture in this lecture i will discuss about masonry structures masonry structures are those structures which are built from individual units laid in and bound together by mortar either when we use bricks uh, and join uh, we lay down and then join with mortar that is called masonry structures and masonry structures their material can either made up of different materials like bricks stones marble granite limestone concrete block glass block and tiles etc so all these materials which are combined with mortar then they are comes under the heading of masonry structures constructing with building stones is the simplest and one of the oldest building methods in the world so here you can see that is a building stones that is the ancient method of building uh, in the masonry structures today masonry structure uh, today masonry is still the most used building material the earliest masonry structures were constructed using primitive form of raw materials such as stone units ram earth so whatsoever material we got by uh, uh, querying or by uh, cutting with different instruments uh, and we get the stone units we place the stone units and then uh, just without any mortar and uh, start building our courts work so that is the old oldest method the structures were often uh, built by placing blocks together without any bonding that is in the history the evolution of masonry structures has resulted in development of not only more robust materials over the years but also more robust technology means now we can uh, uh, we got better materials like we got a bricks concrete blocks uh, and the compressed uh, earth blocks so we got now the development of the masonry structures in the ancients we have the stones and now have the uh, latest uh, technology uh, in the material and in the construction that is we also have with different machines like mixing like in the uh, joining material that is a cement mortar so that is the new latest technology the masonry structures are well known for their simplicity in construction and economy compared to steel and reinforced concrete structures just like steel structures and uh, concrete structures masonry structures has its own importance regarding building of residential building or many uh, other types of structures so masonry structures have its own beauty next use of masonry structures masonry is commonly used building material for the structural and non structural purposes means we use the masonry walls as a load bearing wall and non load bearing wall so there are many purposes of many uh, masonry structures uh, in the sub categories of structural and non structural purposes additionally there is growing interest for masonry structures because of its three phase efficiency that is very important why masonry structures are uh, easily available and easy to construct here is three phase efficiency in production phase in manufacturing phase that are too easy and their uh, manufacturing process are now uh, with the passage of time uh, more and more developed so we can easily uh, make bricks uh, even in one uh, uh, kiln we can make 1000 to 10000 per day bricks so vary for each kiln uh, in construction phase so when we construct the brick by brick with the help of mortar that is also too easy that is the second phase after the manufacturing and third in pro uh, operation phase after the construction we directly go for the operations means uh, the occupants can go the residents can go into the building and start using that building that is a three phase efficiency first manufacturing that is a production phase second construction phase and third operation phase 
Masonry structures provide more comfortable living environment inside which will ultimately reduce the amount of energy spent to improve comfort condition of houses built with other materials such as steel. Masonry structures just like made of bricks, stones, they have the property they can contain the energy inside. You do not need uh, warming extra. So there are uh, environment efficient and energy efficient buildings that we use with the help of masonry. Moreover, the appeal, uh, moreover, the appeal of masonry structures for their user comfortability, aesthetic beauty, and closeness to the nature has attracted many for masonry buildings, like the bricks that are made of clay, stones that are made of stone. So that are the natural things. Other uses of masonry structures are in arches. In arches, uh, why we use bricks? Because uh, uh, arches are strong in compression and weak in tension. So, uh, so that's why the material we use the bricks because bricks is also strong in compression and weak in tension. So that's why we go for arches, partition walls, retaining walls, dams, cover dams. Cofer dams are the, uh, that type of structures uh, for the diverting of the river or for the construction of piers, uh, bridge piers uh, in the river. So to divert the water we use uh, or construct a small dams that is called cofer dams. So that is also uh, some part of that dam is made up of masonry. Uh, masonry is also used for finishing work in buildings and also for cladding and roofing purpose. Cladding means exterior pur uh, work purpose. So here you can see one building with the exterior work with bricks and the pointing is used for the finishing and that is looking good. Second, uh, uh, that is the hanging garden, one of the uh, hanging garden of Babylon. So when you write uh, on the internet, the hanging garden of Babylon, one of the seven wonders of the world, is a typical example of masonry structures that uh, trees and uh, beautiful gardening is done on the high roofs. So that is also in the history. That is one of the wonder. The Great Wall of China, also made of masonry bricks. The great medieval castle of Marlborough, Portland, which is the size of small town, is also made of stones. That is a masonry structure. Taj Mahal, India, one of the also best examples of masonry structures. The 1200 miles of sewers, which the uh, which uh, built in Victorians, Victorians built under the city of London are some other examples of masonry structures. Here you can see the underground tunnels. During the floods, all the water comes in the tunnels. So the city uh, will be safe against the flooding. So that is again the masonry structure example. The oldest serving masonry structure is said to be an arch bridge over Mills River at Sim, uh, Simarana, Turkey. So arch bridge is also one of the oldest example. Now advantages of masonry structures. The use of materials such as bricks and stones can increase the thermal mass of the building. What is thermal mass? Uh, for example, if uh, you make a house of bricks or stones or etc. and you lock the door from the inside then if there is a strong winter outside then the temperature inside will be contained the thermal will be uh, thermal is the heat present in the building so the bricks can store and stones can store the heat in the building so that is the thermal mass most types of masonry typically will not require painting just like i have given the example they just the exterior looks good without any painting and so uh, can provide a structure with reduced life cycle cost. Masonry structures are heat resistant and thus provide a good fire protection. Masonry walls are also good for sound and noise resistant. Uh, even uh, 
uh, when we delivered lectures in the classes if we close the door then it is difficult to go wise uh, from one room to another so that is again the good example of masonry structures masonry structures built in a compression preferably with lime mortar can have a useful life of more than 500 years as compared to 30 to 100 years for structures of steel or reinforced concrete that is a very good uh, advantage of masonry structures disadvantages of masonry structures so extreme weather causes degradation of masonry wall surfaces due to frost action I mean if there is a uh, water present in the bricks so due to uh, due to the icing effect or due to the frozen frozen effect of water uh, as the water volume increases when it freezes so due to that there will be damage due to frost this type of damage is common with certain types of bricks uh, though rare with concrete blocks when we use the concrete blocks it do not absorb water and its water absorption is less than 10 percent so that issue can be resolved with the concrete blocks second masonry tends to be heavy and must be built upon a strong foundation such as reinforced concrete or step foundation to avoid settlement and cracking due to the heaviness of this masonry structure masonry construction does not uh, lend itself well to mechanization and require more skilled labor than stick framing uh, when we do uh, this building of structure like with the wooden structure we just uh, join the sticks and make the structure but in many man masonry structure we need the proper person uh, skilled person who can uh, make the course work properly make the joints properly so skilled labor is required in the masonry structures now the next one is the structural limitation masonry units have impressive compressive strength can bear vertical loads but is much lower in tensile strength like twisting or tensioning or stretching uh, the tensile strength of masonry structures can be strengthened or can be increased by thickening of the wall means when we increase the thickness of wall or by building masonry piers vertical columns or ribs uh, within the walls uh, at intervals where practical steel reinforcement can be added so with these additions we can improve the tensile strengths 